Understanding to Close, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are diving into the English language to unravel the meaning and usage of the phrase, to close. Whether you are an English learner or just looking to brush up on your language skills, you are in the right place. Let's get started and demystify this phrase together. To close is a verb phrase that refers to the action of making something not open. This could be a door, a window, a book, or anything else that can be opened and closed. For example, you might say, please close the door, if you want someone to shut an open door. When we use, to close, we are talking about completing a movement that results in something being in a closed position. It is the opposite of, to open. Business and shops. In a business context, to close, can refer to a company or store ceasing operations, either temporarily at the end of the day or permanently. For instance, the shop closes at 8 p.m. Unfortunately, the business had to close down due to financial problems. Relationships and communication. In relationships or communication, to close can mean ending a conversation or relationship. Examples include, she decided to close the conversation when it became too heated. I had to close that chapter of my life and move on. Technology and applications. In the realm of technology, to close can refer to shutting down an application or window on a computer or device. For instance, you should close the unused applications to save battery. There are also several common phrases and idioms that use, to close. Here are a few examples. Close the deal, to successfully conclude a business transaction. Close to home, describing something that affects one personally and emotionally. Close the book on something, to decide that something is finished and stop thinking about it. And there you have it. The phrase, to close, can be used in various contexts, from the physical act of closing something to more metaphorical uses in business, relationships, and technology. We hope this video has helped shed some light on this common English phrase, and you now feel more confident using it in different situations. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.